Tartu. The whole world knows the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and the 30-kilometer exclusion zone which surrounds it. But few are aware that this area holds a secret which had been kept hidden for many decades. For the first time ever on international television, RT is able to bring you one of the biggest secrets of the Soviet Union. This facility behind me has many different names. The Chernobyl 2, the Duga, or a more technical name, the Beyond Horizon Radio Location Facility. Its prime, prime goal was to detect a missile launch anywhere on the European continent. But its test launch in 1980 proved that its signal is so powerful that it can reach the eastern coast of the United States. This facility was one of the most expensive projects of the Soviet Union. It cost uh, around 7 billion Soviet rubles, which is twice as expensive as the construction of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant just 15 kilometers from here. Even getting this close to the fence of this top secret facility has been impossible before for a TV journalist, for a TV camera. But what we've managed to find here, this should be helpful. This is a hole in the wall. And right now, for the first time ever on international television, we'll be trying to look inside the Chernobyl 2 facility. Despite the official claims that it was decommissioned and put out of service straight out of, after the Chernobyl fallout in 1986, it still remains under the protection and there are still armed guards at the security checkpoints around the area, not letting anyone inside. A theory was put forward that it wasn't really an over-the-horizon radar station, but rather a special facility for influencing people's minds and for using psychotropic radiation that would enable malicious forces to control people. However, there is no such thing as psychotropic radiation. It was just another myth. All the technicians, all the people behind this technology were describing it as their pride, as something the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union's space technology should be proud of, because um, to that date in 1980, uh, none of the world's radars could have had such a strong signal as uh, the station like this. There are only three stations like this in the world. Uh, this this is the only one which we could have get access to as the other two are still remain still remain as classified facilities and there's no access whatsoever to those facilities